This is Gary Schnitke, and this is a five-minute Farm Doc Daily dealing with benchmark revenue calculations under ARC IC. For 2019, yields and prices for 2013 through 2017 will determine our benchmark revenue, and we will have to enter those 2013 to 2017 yields for each farm on our or each crop on our FSA farm. I have an example here from LaSalle County, and we had uh, three yields here, 2013, 2015, and 2017. This farm happens to be in a 50-50 uh, rotation. 2014 and 2016 corn, or soybeans, or excuse me, corn was not planted on this farm. We still come up with a yield used for that year, and it happens to be the trend adjusted county yield. So if you're not planning a yield on that farm, they'll use the trend-adjusted county yield. If you plan a yield and it's below 80% of the T yield, the T yield will be used in the calculations. So you enter those farm yields for the years 2013 to 2017 when, those are cal- when, when that was planted. That will be used to calculate a benchmark revenue. This happens to be for corn. Do the same thing for soybeans. And then those two are averaged, weighted by acres planted. So this one has 50 acres of corn, 50 acres of soybeans planted in 2019. That results in an average over these two crops of 741.26. Takes 50% of 859 for corn, 50% of of soybean revenue to come up with that revenue. If this happened to be all corn planted this year, rather than 50-50, then the benchmark revenue would equal the corn benchmark revenue, and vice versa for soybeans. That is the process for coming up for, with benchmark revenue. It's always weighted average across crops on the farm, and if you have multiple farms, it's averaged across all the farms. Benchmark revenue calculation for ARC-IC.